Hey guys, welcome back to another episode and a happy new year to all of you. I hope you had a really good Christmas uh, and are really looking forward to going back to work. Um, I've got a few days before I go back to work so I'm quite lucky and I want to get a few jobs done. Uh, nothing major, but a few bits. So a few episodes ago, maybe even in the last episode, I mentioned that the car's going for a rewire. Now that's happening on the 19th of Jan this month. Uh, it's currently the 4th of Jan, I think. Um, so I've got about two weeks to get some bits done, uh, ready for that. Uh, and to kick off, I suppose the first things I want to get done is these wings. Now I've not completely given up on the fender braces yet. Um, my friends have said to me, and it, also you guys have commented on the channel, that surely I can just cut, you know, cut the wing and have the bar sticking through a bit. Uh, it was something I didn't really want to do because I just didn't want it all like sticking out and stuff. But if I can make it quite neat and just literally just have the bar sticking through, make a nice clean cut, uh, it shouldn't look too bad. And it's really only the vent that's in the way, so it's only the vent that's going to get cut, I think. Um, so I'm going to try and do that today. Um, I've bought some bits to sort the exhaust out. So when I was editing all the footage for the, for the side exit exhaust, and you may have seen in the comments um, that I put in, I, like, I was tearing my hair out because I, there was just obvious mistakes that I made with the exhaust um, that really would have helped things like for example the, the centre box where it dips down at the front why didn't I just step the pipe up a touch you know do a little less bend to step the pipe up and then I could get that box right up tight into the tunnel uh, and gain that ground clearance back because the car got stuck coming off the ramps <laughs> when I finished it so you know it'd just be a nause if I don't sort that out so I bought some mandrel bends to sort that out also that crazy maths pie cut stuff that I did um, I've just bought some mandrel bends to replace some pie cuts I just want to make everything as free flown as possible and I don't think a 90 degree bend is quite a severe bend in an exhaust so um, well, it's not quite 90 but it's not far off um, so I want to make that as smooth as I possibly can so we're going to be doing that obviously I'm going to paint all the bits that I missed before I went away for Christmas um, where I've done the notch so I'm going to get that painted up uh, and then a few other odds and sods. I need to pull the tank fuel tank off again because I'm having some issues with the fuel sender, so I want to get that sorted. Uh, I need to set up the speedo because it's still not calibrated. Oh, and new parts uh, finally arrived. I say finally arrived, they actually arrived a lot quicker than I was expecting. So there's a guy in Spain called Momo Evil. Evil, if you look him up on Facebook, says so M O M O E V O L. He 3D prints parts for Hondas, uh, predominantly Civics, I believe, at the moment, but he looks like he's expanding. And he's 3D printed me, which is pretty cool, a replacement uh, headlight duct. How cool is that? I mean, it's obviously got some machining marks on there, well, well the printing marks. He, did, he does tell you that the, the part needs post-processing, so it needs sanding down and painting, if you want to do that. I quite like the look, you know, it, you, you know it's 3D printed, or you know it's something that's been bespoke made for this so I'm not really too fussed about cleaning it up um, and I think as a little feel good job to give me the boost that I need to start the day I'm going to fit this now and we'll see how it how it looks and how it fits yeah so when I had that accident with that M3 at Rockingham uh, you can see it's it's completely cracked and damaged the whole thing um, obviously I could have repaired it but the price that I paid for that headlight from Spain uh, it just it was worth the money without a doubt. So look them up, um, let's get this new part fitted. Alright guys, that is in. It um, fits quite nice. Obviously it's not a factory fit, but to be honest, none of the panels have ever really lined up that well uh, on this car. It was almost a bolt-in job, so close. Um, there was just one thing that I had to do, and that was just for the indicator to bolt in there. So I just put a rib nut in the bracket on the actual headlight assembly itself. Um, would, would have been far too fiddly to try and do a nut and bolt either side. Um, 
but yeah, rib nut went in fine, obviously, and uh, that's it bolted in. And yeah, quite happy with that. Looks pretty sweet. Also, it's really, really lightweight. Um, it's lighter than my plastic headlight duct. Uh, only by a touch, but still, you know, it's still lighter. So, a bit of weight save, bonus. All right, dudes, I'm gonna try and sort this wing out. Now, the difficulty is, is getting the cut in the, exactly in the right place because I can't lay it flat over it, do you know what I mean? So if I push that in, if I cut it where I see it now and then I fold it in, it's going to move slightly. It might not move much, so I might be okay, but I'm just trying to work out where the centre line is really. Uh, and I'll just cut out an initial sort of finger amount, if you like, just to get this angle out of the way and see how much we can get through and then I'll just keep trimming and trimming until we get the whole bar through. I suppose hopefully the good thing is once I've got one side done I can just mimic it on the other side. Um, I'll just have to make sure the way I mount up the brace is in exact same place as the one on the passenger side. Uh, should hopefully make it a little bit quicker but let's just get it done, we've got all day. Right, that's as far as I think I need to go. It's I could do with going a touch more because it's just pushing the wing up there, but it also aids in sort of supporting the wing. It makes it really quite solid, and it pushes it out a bit higher up, which gives me a bit more clearance uh, under the tire. So I think I'm at a good compromise there. Unfortunately, I've cut the hole. I knew I would. It's I came too low because as it's moved down. It, well, the, the wing moves down the closer you get it into the car. So it's really difficult to try and judge where to put the line. But so all, I've, all I did was cut the bottom line out to keep creeping the top line further and further up uh, to make it over the bar. So at the moment it's still resting there and it's resting a little bit there. Um, I may take out a little bit more just to try and bring that down a touch. Uh, but to be honest, that's it fully bolted in and it's, it just feels so much more solid than the other side um, that I might keep it like that. We'll shave out a touch more. I'll just bring it around a bit further there, a little bit out of there um, and we'll see where we're at. Cool, so that's it all cleaned up and fitted up. Um, that's as good as it's gonna get really. Hopefully I'll do the other side now and we can tighten up this, this line a bit. Um, but before I do that, I've still got to fit up the entire brace, weld in the plate, etc. So I'm ecstatic to be doing that. Let alone once I've done that, I've got to paint the entire sill. Um, I don't think I filmed that, but I, I painted all the all the wing um, and along the sill just because it's there's a little bit of surface rust getting in where I've done some work and not cleaned it up. So uh, I'll get all that done. That'll probably take me through the rest of today and then we'll crack on with the exhaust tomorrow so uh, and the other few bits I've got to get done so I'm not going to film me making the plate and the brace and all that stuff because you've seen it already I've done a whole episode on it uh, so if you want to see it go back and find it um, but what I'll do is I'll show you at the end when it's all done hopefully it'll be a neater job than the passenger side uh, and that'll be us for today I think all right that's the brace fitted up um, like I said I didn't bother going through all the stuff of me cutting up metal and welding in and that um, probably should have actually I could have just done a little time lapse of it but all I'm gonna do now is um, cut in the other wing so I'm gonna get that done and then it'll all have to come off and then I'm gonna grind all this back take the door off grind all the sill out uh, and paint it just to freshen it up and that'll probably be me for the day it's only two o'clock now so I'm doing all right actually for once I'm actually ahead of schedule um, still plenty to get done so hopefully it won't take too long getting that wing cut in and then we can crack on with the rest of it So oh, that's this side done. 
and uh, cleaned up and cut in. It's fairly even. Um, I seem to have gone too far and there's actually a gap on this side now. So it's not actually sitting on the brace, which is good, I guess. Again, I'd like to have been a tighter fit, but I think, I don't think I could get that any tighter without being loads better. <laughs> so uh, that's as good as it's gonna get. Right, cool. So now I'll get the extra fun job of grinding it all out um, and giving it a good paint. So we'll do a time lapse of that and I'll see you on the other side. Okie dokie guys, that's the first coat um, on and dry. Uh, it's actually a new day here today because I didn't want sit to uh, sit and wait around for 40 minutes or however long waiting for that paint to dry. Um, so I've just come back today, I'm going to throw on a second coat and then it can all go back together, which is good. So that's that job done. Um, yeah, and then I've got plenty of other bits to crack on with, but I'll probably throw them into a separate episode. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to throw on a second coat and stop repeating myself and um, then we'll be done with this job. Alright guys, that's the job pretty much done. I'm still waiting for the paint to dry, um, so I'm going to wrap up the episode now uh, and start cracking on with a pretty exciting job which will be in the next episode, so make sure you catch that. Um, yeah, that was it really, nice and simple, uh, wasn't too bad in the end. So I'm glad that's done and I've managed to retain the braces and hopefully gain a bit of rigidity on that front end by the firewall. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it guys. Uh, please subscribe if you only see me for the first time and also check out our Facebook page which is uh, at Team Motor Spirit. And I'll see you next time where we're gonna install a shiny new swell pot setup. Um, I was gonna do the exhaust but I've had to order a few more bits and I'd rather just do it all in one go. Uh, so we'll do that probably next week. Um, so for now we're going to get this job out of the way because it's pretty important um, but that's in the next episode so uh, catch that next time and I'll see you then thanks guys bye bye